Hello and welcome to Holy Sum Up, the ultimate service for busy believers who want to get closer to God. In this episode, we will summarize the classic Christian devotional book, The Imitation of Christ, by Thomas A. Kempis. This book was written in the 15th century as a guide for the spiritual life of the followers of the Devotio Moderna movement, which emphasized the inner devotion and imitation of Christ over the outward rituals and ceremonies of the church. The book is divided into four parts, each containing many short chapters that offer practical and profound advice on how to live a Christian life in this world. The first part is called Helpful Counsels of the Spiritual Life. And it begins by telling us to have contempt for the world and its vanities, and to focus our love and attention on Christ and his eternal kingdom. It teaches us to be humble, obedient, patient, and detached from worldly things, and to seek God's will in everything we do. It also encourages us to read the scriptures daily, to pray fervently, to avoid temptation, and to practice self-examination and repentance. The second part is called Directives for the Interior Life. And it deals with the inner disposition of our hearts and minds towards God and others. It urges us to seek God above all else, and to love Him with all our strength. It also tells us to love our neighbors as ourselves, but not to expect anything from them or depend on them for our happiness. It warns us against pride, anger, envy, greed, lust, and other vices that can ruin our souls. It also instructs us on how to deal with trials, tribulations, consolations, and spiritual dryness. The third part is called on interior consolation, and it consists of a dialogue between Christ and the disciple, who represents every Christian soul. In this part, Christ speaks to us directly and personally, revealing his love, wisdom, grace, and mercy. He invites us to come to him with all our needs and troubles, and promises to comfort us and help us. He also challenges us to follow him more closely and faithfully, even if it means suffering for his sake. He teaches us how to trust in him, how to surrender to him, how to thank him, how to praise him, and how to imitate him. The fourth and final part is called on the blessed sacrament. and it focuses on the Eucharist as the source and summit of our spiritual life. It explains the meaning and importance of receiving the body and blood of Christ in communion, and how it strengthens our union with Him and with His Church. It also gives us some guidelines on how to prepare ourselves for this sacrament, how to receive it worthily, how to adore it reverently, and how to benefit from it spiritually. The Imitation of Christ is a book that has inspired countless Christians throughout history, with its simple yet profound insights into the Christian life. It is a book that can be read over and over again, as each time we can discover something new and relevant for our own situation. It is a book that can help us grow in our love for God and for our fellow human beings. It is a book that can lead us to the imitation of Christ. Thank you for watching this episode of Holy Sum Up. If you enjoyed this summary, Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below. And don't forget to check out our other summaries of great Christian books on our channel. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you in his peace.